Ravens versus Colts. Ravens win 24 to 10. But still not satisfied. That was too close for my comfort. All respects to the Colts. So let's get straight to it. Okay. Like I said in the preview video, we knew the Colts defense very good, very fast. Thankfully, no pick six on on this week. So let's talk about the first half. Colts defense held the Ravens down for only 55 yards in that first half half that right there was some good defense by them Ravens defense gave up seven points no they gave yeah they gave up a touchdown in the first quarter Ravens come back turn around Ravens defense fumble recovery running back for a touchdown Cause the offense was offense literally was shut out the first half. Then the Colts come back and get a three point, get a field goal to make it ten to seven. First half, Calais Campbell gets injured. Des Bryant only was on the field for only one play. And that play was not even a pass. It was a run. Then he just stood on the sideline for the entire game. And it's like, what? Why? You know? But hopefully it was a reason for that. Um, Maybe so he can just get that feel. They was uh, playing it safe. He's technically still trying to learn a playbook. Get that communication down with Lamar. So, and, and this game was too close for comfort. So that's why they just had him sitting out there. The second half comes... The more offense is more fast paced. Lamar was cooking. He went one drive. He went 10 for 10 and ran in for the touchdown. But throughout this whole game, they said it in the first half. There was a lot, lot of bad snapping from Matt. They say he had a cut. Excuse me. They say he had a cut on his thumb, which I'm like, okay, that that can cost that. But to me, that's still no excuse, really, um, because they had they they said they stopped the flow of the blood and everything. But oh no, it was just off, just off, and it was interesting to see that. Like he was snapping high, snapping low, snapping left, snapping right throughout the whole entire game. But luckily, Lamar, he kept his composure. He was catching them. Even they, they was everywhere. He was catching them. Also, we finally seen in this in the second half, we finally seen Lamar throwing it out a lot faster. The quick throws. And that's when he started to get his rhythm. And then that's where everybody on the offense was starting to jail. I was still looking for Dez, but hopefully that'll be against the Patriots. And also with this win, they announced that there's 10 road wins, straight road wins for the Ravens, which is awesome. Now, let's get break it down for as the offense. 
Lamar Jackson was 19 out of 23 for 170 yards. He ran 13 carries, 58 yards, and one TD. Gus had 11 carries, 23 yards. JK, 12 carries for 30 yards. That show you how good the coach defense is slowing down the run, but we still got over that 100. Cause they, they, they put up a stat was pretty much saying like no team has rushed over 100 on the coach so far this year. And the Ravens just continually to break that barrier. Now for us passing, he pretty much shared the ball. I see Hollywood had five targets for three receptions from that. But Boykin had one reception for 11 yards with one target. So he was spreading the ball. But I only see literally three the same three wide receivers. No dev on this one. No James Porsche. Obviously, no Dez. And then on a couple of plays, it looked like Lamar was literally trying to force the ball to Mark Andrews. And the most targets is Lamar people. Hollywood had five. Mark Andrews had five. They both caught three each. So there's still a lot of work on that, but hopefully they will get that fixed. And also the coast defense plays extremely well, extremely fast. Now for as the Ravens defense, for our defense, Marcus Peters should get a game ball. He's like, my boy is not here. So I'm gonna have to do what he does. Marcus Peters forced the fumble. That's the that's that helped the Ravens get seven in the first half since the offense was still on the bus or in the locker room, I should say. Then he also had an interception as well. And, and that interception is questionable, but he took three steps, then the ball came out. So they said with the new rules, when you take three steps. For as a receiver, that's a fumble. If the ball comes out, same thing for as the cornerback. He became the receiver. He took three steps. The ball came out, but no one picked up the ball, and they blew the whistle. So, therefore, it was the Ravens' ball. That completely shocked me, but I had no problem with that. Now... far as the defensive line linebacker zero sacks this whole game zero sacks the pressure was there the pressure was there but zero sacks matt judon led the team in tackles and the defense they played well there's a lot of people that was out as well um but due with the circumstance they did the best that they could and they held up. They held up the second half. They held up because I was like, man, it looking like they cannot stop the Colts. But they held up to do what they had to do. But Little Rivers, he was getting that ball out and they did. Oh my goodness. You can tell they will they watch the tape because I haven't seen no team do this many screens on the Ravens. Like I'm like, dude, screen, screen, screen. I was waiting for somebody to jump one of them screens and pick it off, but it didn't happen. But I'm like, man. Gus Gus Edwards was the offense. He had a fumble. So the score literally could have been 27 or it could have been a little higher than that. You know, telling. But he had a fumble in our red zone. And at first I was like, man, Harves is going to have him sit for a while. But Harves didn't. He had JK out there. Then he just came right back. But good game overall. It was just a, I don't know, man. 
that 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 offense still has me worried with it a lot because that first half you got just shut out like that. That's something to really worry about. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the game. I'm gonna start working up on these uh, reactions. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Everybody stay safe. God bless.